What's up, YouTube? Your boy, the Dread Man, is back. And um, today's video topic, uh, I wanna, I've been wanting to talk about this for a little bit because it's been getting on my nerves. But uh, ladies and gentlemen alike, now, ladies, have you ever noticed that every time that you get in a relationship, there's always that one hating ass bitch waiting in the wings for you to mess up? And fellas, have you ever noticed whether or not it be your homies or not, whether it's a nigga that you don't like or whether it's one of your close personal homies, he's waiting for your relationship to go to hell just so he can move in. And I got a couple of pictures for y'all to help clarify things, like this picture right here. Don't ever let your girl talk to another guy about her problems. A shoulder to cry on becomes a dick to ride on. And this picture also. Niggas be like, me and your man's cool, <laughs> but we ain't that cool. And last but not least, this picture. Niggas be like, yes, her man is fucking up. Time for me to swoop in. Yeah, guys, you get the gist of it, but the, the thing is, I can't stand, well, men and women alike, I can't stand thirsty-ass opportunistic people, or vultures is what I like to call them, I like to call them vultures, you know, feeding off of another nigga's kill, pretty much. And it's like, for ladies and gentlemen alike who do this, it's like, why the hell would you waste time looking and watching for somebody else to mess up just so you can move in and, you know, mess up what they got? Or why would you waste time, I mean, instead of, like, um... Watching what they're doing, you could be going out looking for your own relationship, and it might be better than the one that, that the other one had to offer you. And um, while men and women alike both do this, the thing is, females, they do this shit with, with bitches that they can't stand, bitches that they don't like. And men, men, they don't have a filter as far as this shit. Men will do it with their own close personal homies. I've seen this shit happen myself. But yeah, I mean, I never really did get why people would be vultures and try to capitalize off of somebody else's relationship, it doesn't really make sense to me. I guess, like, one person wanted to take it more seriously than the other one, and the other person just wanted to smash and they just wanted for their own personal gain. But if it's like, if you do, if you only in a relationship or if you only pursue somebody just for your own personal gain, then that's how you know it ain't gonna last. But, uh, yeah, guys, what do you think? Do you know anybody like this or have at any time in your, um, in your life, have you been an opportunist or a vulture? Like, okay, I'll admit it. In high school, I used to do it all the time with girls who I thought were quote unquote out of my league. But I made a video about that like about a year and a half ago or whatever. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about this. Like, can you not stand vulture ass people or like thirsty people as far as relationships go? And uh, have you ever been one of those people? All right, I'm out, y'all. Thanks for watching. I got more videos coming up on the way. Stay tuned. Peace.